All right. All right. Welcome, everyone. Get it started in a few seconds. Make sure everybody's getting in before we start our important discussion today on embracing diversity and in depth exploration of the CSAM Institute's cultural diversity education program and the CSAM Institute's Foundation Diversity Scholarship Program. Right. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this month's chapter marketing meetup. Today we're discussing, as I said, uh, the Cultural Diversity Education Program and the CCM Institute's Foundation Diversity Scholarship. I'm Gina Florzak, the CSAM Institute's Manager of Content Strategy and Publications. And with me is, Lachey Sidner, Director of Membership Experience. She has been uh, with the association for how long now, Lachey? Uh, a year, technically. This Excellent, year. technically. Um, and then before that, in some other areas uh, with the CSAM Institute. Um, and then she also oversees the diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts at the CSAM Institute, which includes the Cultural Diversity Education Program. And then we have with us today two issues here with my slides. Carrie Pantall, the executive director of the CSAM Institute Foundation. Carrie also oversees the diversity scholarship as well. So welcome to you, Carrie and Lachey. Thank you for being with us today. Happy to be here. Excellent. So the CSAM Institute is committed to representing and supporting diversity within the commercial real estate industry. We embrace this through education, awareness, and best uh, business practices providing equitable access to underrepresented groups within commercial real estate. So with that, let's kick it off. Let's start talking about the cultural diversity education program. We also like to refer this as uh, the CDEP program. So Lachey, can you, uh, can you dive into a little bit more about CDEP? All right. So as many of you know, uh, this program has been around for uh, quite some time um, and we've made some updated changes to the program, including in, um, candidate membership, which has now become a requirement. Uh, the CDEP program is an opportunity for all underrepresented groups. Uh, a chance to receive a significant discount on the program. And we're going to talk about the um, qualifications for that, how to promote it, and as well um, how it actually does not affect, I know a lot of this question comes up a lot, it doesn't affect your pricing in regard to the royalties that you receive. So we welcome you to uh, push this program as a part of expanding diversity in the Institute. Excellent. Lachey, uh, that's 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 good information. I also I wanted to remind uh, our participants today, if you do have any questions for Lachey or Carrie uh, throughout this discussion, please use the Q&A tab um, and we'll be answering the questions at the end. Um, there's a lot of information that they'll be sharing on, and I hope to uh, to help get some questions answered for you. All right. Thank you. Now let's go over some of the facts about CDEP, the Cultural Diversity Education Program. Uh, Lachey, did you wanna talk a little bit about kind of these, these bullet points we have on the screen here? Sure, so uh, the first thing that I want to point out, as I stated, we did have some new enhancements to the program. Previously, you were uh, only eligible to apply if you were in the US as a citizen um, or a permanent resident. And recently we have added our Canadian um, chapters to this as well. You all will see some communication coming out for that. So we're really excited to expand the program. And then as I stated before, candidate membership is now a part of the requirement for this program. And really that is 
it was to encourage the candidates to get involved early on um, and keep that connection going. And the goal, again, is to be able to provide our um, courses to them at an extremely discounted rate. Thank you. And just quickly going over these bullets here, uh, CDAP, it promotes interest and encourage, encourages, as Lachey, Lachey said, underrepresented groups to uh, to pursue a career in commercial real estate where they may not otherwise have thought about that, right? Um, approved applicants uh, receive discounted candidate membership, as, as she also said too, that's a new thing for 2024. Um, and then uh, again, it's it's they must be permanent residents of the US or Canada. That's, that's really all we have approved for right now. And then um, this program, which is something that uh, we really wanted to hit home on this webinar, is provided through the CCM Institute. So it is not um, a, a provided through the foundation, which Carrie will go into uh, later on. Um, and then rolling applications year round. And then participants receive tuition discounts on eligible courses through our designation curriculum. So that's uh, CI 101 through CI 104 only. And then um, they must be active in the real estate industry. And just to reiterate, uh, we are going to, well, we're talking about how to apply. So to roll right into that, uh, all of the qualifications, details, and new to the uh, CDEP portion of the website, there's some facts, questions, and answers there that kind of just go over um, you know, general questions that we get. For instance, one that popped up in our chat here was uh, our candidates in, who are enrolled in CDEP able to be awarded chapter scholarships. So participation in the CDEP program does not prohibit candidates for looking at additional opportunities to receive funding. Uh, all opportunities that are available, we welcome them to apply for those. Uh, and again, Carrie's gonna talk more about how the CDEP program uh, segues into this additional opportunity for them to apply for the Diversity Foundation Scholarship. But it, back to the CDEP program, as a part of the application as stated here, they do have to provide a current resume, three signed letters of recommendation, and then answer six essay questions as well. And that is done all online. Um, the link is through the website. And as you guys have the QR code here, it will go directly to that CDEP page. If you guys have any questions, again, the chat is open, but if you prefer to reach out to me, I am going to put my information here for you guys to reach out to me directly. Most of you have my information already, but I'm happy to answer any of those questions for you. Lachey, are there any limitations to who can provide the letters of recommendation? No. So personal, professional, um, the goal here is to show how you shine in the real estate world. And so reach out to those that know you best and can fully explain that. Um, as expressive as you can be in showing your excitement and dedication to growing diversity in commercial real estate, as you can, please do that in the application. Um, we really take heed and these applications are actually reviewed by our diversity, um, our DEI committee. And so they really do go into these and and ask questions regarding it. Um, they're passionate about it and they wanna see people receive this that are passionate as well. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now, uh, thank you Lachey for talking about the CDEP program. I wanna transition now into the CSAM Institute's Foundations Diversity Scholarship and how uh, the two programs are different, right? Um, so Carrie, I'd like to, uh, to ask if you can go a little bit more into the scholarship and what those differences are. Absolutely, thanks so much. So the CCIM Institute Foundation Diversity Scholarship was created only in 2022. So it is a fairly new program. It is definitely new for the foundation. It is one of the two scholarships that we operate within our office, the other one being the veteran scholarships. We do that through our office, and then we also do the diversity scholarship. We wanted to put that in place um, to be able to support individuals who are already in the CDEP and have already taken some of the coursework to provide the opportunity to apply for a scholarship that would help get them the rest of the way to the designation. 
We have some qualifications. You must be in CDEP in order to apply for our scholarship as well as already have completed CI 101. So sometimes we receive emails saying, well, I just started the CDEP, can I apply for your scholarship? And the answer is no, 101 must be completed first. Those are the two qualifications to then apply for the foundation scholarship. Excellent. So the first step really is people get involved in CDEP. Yes. And then they take that CI 101 course and then they're eligible to apply for the scholarship itself. So exactly. Carrie, the scholarship is not guaranteed as part of CDEP, correct? That is correct. The foundation has a limited budget for scholarships that we're able to award every year. This is why we constantly do fundraising for our scholarships so that we can award even more funds to more eligible scholarship applicants. Um, but at this point, we generally get more applications than we do have funds to award. So it is not guaranteed. There is actually a review process um, that the scho all scholarship applications go through. We have a committee as well who reviews applications and determines based on the funding that we have available who will be awarded the scholarship. The other really important thing, which I believe is on your next slide, is that our scholarship opens in the summer. It's not a year round thing because we have to manage the other scholarships that we have in the office. And so the veteran scholarship is done in the first quarter of the year, first half roughly, and the diversity scholarship is done in the second half because we want to have the applications open. We want them to be open long enough to have people apply so that we can get them in and reviewed appropriately and then awarded before the end of the year. So there is a definite timing difference when it comes to foundation scholarships. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Carrie. Uh, so can, can I go back to the CI 101 course? Sure. That, that could be taken whether it's in person, online, um, our chapters right. can can help to get people to, to, to uh, get to their, their CI 101 course with this opportunity as well, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And then subsequent 102, 103, and 104, yes. right? Excellent. Thank you. And again, to piggyback on the question that Lachey answered earlier, if someone is accepted into CDIP, they can apply for a local chapter scholarship to cover that 101 course. Um, we have, and that would be through the named education scholarship program that is run by the local chapters. We have received forms from local chapters to help cover the costs of courses for CDEP participants at that discounted rate. So like Lachey says, we want all opportunities to be available. Nothing precludes anybody from applying for something else. It's a great point, Carrie. Thank you. Thank you for reminding us about that additional opportunity that um, participants can take advantage of. So um, as we did with CDEP, let's just cover some, some highlights, right? Um, we talked a little bit about the CI 101 course right? Um, and then we talked about the application opening this summer. And then actually the real scholarship covers the cost of enrollment for CI 102 through 104. Correct. And additionally, if you want to talk more about this, carry the fees um, and, and subsequent other uh, uh, things that, that are needed in order to, uh, to qualify for the CSAM designation. Sure, yeah, along with 102, 103, and 104, it covers portfolio fees, um, the CCR, which is the core concepts review, it covers the cost of that, and it also covers the exam registration fee. Um, the important part about this scholarship is what we do not cover is travel. So we do cover the cost of the courses, the cost of the fees, but we do not cover travel. So sometimes if someone is in the program and the course that they wanna take is somewhere, is not local, they still will need to cover that those expenses, but for all of the fees and the courses that is covered by the scholarship. And really what it does, does is it gives, provides the opportunity for the applicant to get the designation at a quicker pace. You know, we know sometimes that there's expenses involved and other things going on and people have the drive and the passion and, you know, the intelligence to get through all of these courses, but they're just unable to due to the cost. And we've had some really great success with the diversity scholarship of people taking the classes really quickly. You know, with the first year that we did it, we had five people complete 102 to 104 and the portfolio and the CCR and the exam. Just we're really allowing people to get to the finish line sooner because they have all of the tools to do so. 
just that the cost is is prohibitive sometimes. Yeah, so th that's a that's a great point, Carrie. Is the cost is prohibited, but in order to give uh, these scholarships out, we need uh, we need money through mm -hmm. uh, through donations. So I'd love to give out more, Gina. <laughs> really would. And yes, so that's why and, we and continue to showcase absolutely. the ways you can support everything we do. Yeah, absolutely. And so you know, we we ask that um, throughout the uh, the year for our chapters to also help us um, to, to generate those funds for uh, for these scholarships. Um, and that's why uh, why we, we need to, to people to know that the difference here is that CDEP is offered through the CSAM Institute and uh, the scholarship is offered through the foundation through uh, the the generous donations of of our, our members and, and people and, mm -hmm. and friends of uh, the CSAM Institute Foundation. All right. So uh, as we always do in our chapter marketing meetups, we talk about ways to help uh, to, to help you as as chapter uh, administrators, leaders, volunteers to promote these these programs um, on behalf of your chapter. So uh, we always want to promote our, our uh, CSAM Institute social media pages. We have LinkedIn and Facebook, as many of you are aware now. We do utilize those to promote not only the, uh, the opening of the applications or of the, the CDEP program itself, but we also utilize our social media pages to uh, to, to to show the, the, the people that take advantage of these wonderful opportunities. So throughout the year, you may see um, the, 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 the scholarship winners, but also testimonials and um, videos that our scholarship recipients have, have provided. And then um, also, I just wanna to mention too, that the CSAM Institute Foundation has a separate uh, social media page on their behalf. And they also, Carrie, wanna to speak to that, about they also utilize a lot of our, our shares and we share uh, content and they will share content. Um, and we kind of go back and forth because we wanna get um, the message across on both channels, right? Not just, the, the CDEP program on the, the CCM Institute, but we also want to promote the, uh, the the scholarship recipients as well. Yeah, absolutely. We do share on our own, you know, on the foundation social media pages when the scholarship recipients, um, they're awarded. We have them on our website as well. And the Institute does share that information so we can help them, you know, get the recognition that they deserve for achieving the scholarship. And then also we are collecting you know, testimonials and things as well. And even when we just award the scholarship, we often get emails from recipients saying how helpful this will be to their career and how grateful they are to receive it. And so we're working on sharing more of those stories on a broader scale so that everyone can understand how beneficial, you know, these funds are and, and the impact that they really make. So and Carrie, oh, sorry, just wanted to interject since we're talking about testimonials. You guys um, in our chapters work really closely with these individuals. If you know someone that's doing great things or you feel has really good potential, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We're happy to connect with them and see how we can continue to keep that motivation going. So just wanted to put that. Excellent. Thank you, Carrie Lachey. That's great advice because um, it's it's a good segue into ways that you can promote as, as, as chapter uh, uh, leaders is... To, if you know of someone that's in your chapter, as Carrie mentioned, um, tap into that. Ask them for a testimonial, or you can reshare what we have on our uh, on our uh, on our pages, the CSAM Institute and the CSAM Institute Foundations pages. So uh, you utilize that as a way to help get other people involved um, who may not be members of the CSAM Institute or your chapter and maybe thinking about other ways to get into uh, or earn the designation. Utilize those resources that you have. Um, and then also uh, it'd be beneficial too to support the programs through likes, shares, and comments um, on, our, on our particular pages. And then what also is uh, a, a good uh, 
basically low hanging fruit to tap into for some more social media content for your pages is former participants in the CDEP or the, uh, the diversity scholarship program. If you know of people that have already participated years ago, it doesn't have to be even today that are participating. It could have been alumni of the programs. Um, get them to talk about, about their experiences. And then as always, we do remind you to use hashtags and um, redirect uh, to members for uh, more content on their pages. So we always ask for additional outreach. And that would be um, ask some people who do participate in the program um, on behalf of your chapter to talk about on their own pages as well. Um, I would like to add, Gina, that uh, when thinking about diversity, expand that. It goes beyond race, right? We have a lack of women in commercial real estate uh, and a lack of a lot of things. So it could not just be uh, in regard to race, it's gender and a bunch of things. So open up that a little further. And also we had a question in the chat and I'm going to answer it real quick in here as well. But the question was, if someone has already taken CI 101, can they enter the CDEP program if they qualify? Yes, they can have taken 101 through 103 and only need to use it for 104. Um, or, I mean, people have come in who have actually taken 101 through 104 and only want to use the discount for their foundations course. So it really just, it depends. Everybody takes their journey differently. Um, so yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I know we're we're getting close on uh, on time here. So I do want to remind all of our participants today, uh, if you have more questions, please use that Q&A feature. Thank you, Lachey. All right. So another uh, another means of um, inexpensive way to to promote these programs is through email marketing. So the CCM Institute sends out a monthly insider newsletter. And with it, we have uh, calls for participants to CDEP program. We also have we also have announcements about when applications are open, right? Uh, yep. For the CSAM Institute Foundation's diversity scholarship, and then we also announce the the scholarship recipients, right? And so uh, keep an eye out for those those uh, information sources to come to your inbox. That's when you know when things are uh, are open and uh, ready to uh, have your chapter members take advantage of. And one thing, Gina, um, I want to mention quickly that we're trying to do as well is when the foundation awards scholarships is really do a better job of connecting those recipients with their chapter because that's where they will get the most local support. And so we are now, when we announce the winners, we announce where they're from. Um, we ask them if it's okay that we share their information with the chapter so that they can reach out or the chapter can reach out to them and really making sure that those connections are made so that relationship can be built at the local level as well as with the national. That's a great point, Carrie, uh, because th those th those recipients might have friends or colleagues or other people that uh, they can kind of kind of spread the word about too at the same time. So, again, just tapping into those resources that you already have, and then um, just wanted to just reiterate and. Um, I want to just announce, and as always, this this recording uh, of this webinar will be sent to everyone um, following up. So we've provided you here uh, just a quick access to the uh, the CDEP website with this QR code under uh, or above, I should say, learn more. And then we've done the same here with a quick access to uh, to the diversity scholarship. All right, looks like we have a um, few minutes left. So we wanted to leave some room uh, for q and A. I I know we've kind of been answering questions throughout. Um, Carrie, can you talk to us about why the diversity scholarship was formed in the first place? What, what, where did this need arise? 
Um, it was an initiative by our the foundation's board of directors. Um, after they did the veteran scholarship a couple years prior, they were looking to see where else that they could create a new scholarship that would support um, particularly a program that was already running. And so that's why CDEP was a natural partner because CDEP has been such a strong program for so long. And so the ability to partner with that program and then have CDEP participants have the opportunity to apply for a scholarship was just a great opportunity for the foundation to help additional students and provide additional funds and really try to open, you know, the more doors to commercial real estate and provide, provide more opportunities um, to grow their careers. So that's really what we're trying to do is advance careers. And this was a great opportunity for us to be able to do that in conjunction with something that was already happening. So I think that was the most beneficial part. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Wonderful. Tina, we did I have a question that just came in. If you could go back to the CDEP slide. They wanted to see the QR code. I'm also okay. going to post the direct link here um, in the answer as well. Yes. Thank you. All right. And and this will be will be shared again to everyone. Um, and then as well as Carrie and Lachey's contact information for questions uh, after the webinar. Happy to answer anything anyone has questions about. Excellent, okay. Yes. And also um, just to announce, you all will see this information coming out again. We do have uh, some new materials for you guys, just kind of separating the program and clarifying some things. I know when you guys promote this, you still have questions regarding the differences between the scholarship and the program and how to apply. So we put together a really cool tool for you, which you will see coming out soon with more information on that as well. Thank you, Lachey. We did get a, a comment that I, I wanted to share, which was lovely. Uh, and uh, Carrie, I'm not sure if you had a chance to see this come through. Um, I did. Hi, so, David. <laughs> David. David Hewins, one of our board members. And so we really appreciate his support for this program. So, so David Hewen uh, says the, C the CCM Diversity Scholarship Program is vital to show support and encouragement to minorities to move forward in being a CCM designee. I know this personally, and I got goosebumps when I read that. Um, so uh, lovely. And um, I hope that uh, the chat on the chapter side, you all take advantage of uh, the resources we're about to provide you. And um, of course, uh, these are brought to you uh, each month uh, from the, uh, the, the communications department. And um, we are always looking for ideas about a next chapter marketing meetup. So please uh, feel free to use our poll. We share it in all of our email communications about the meetups. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you all at the next one, April 18th at 1 p.m. Central. The topic and Zoom link will be available in the coming weeks. Um, and if you have any further questions for me uh, related to marketing, you can always reach me at chapter marketing at CCIM. Dot com. I want to thank you all for being with uh, us today. Carrie, Lachey, appreciate your time and uh, hope you all have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone.